Hey, everybody. What's going on? Paul here from Hashtag Sports. So, uh, obviously, lots in uh, Bill's news. Uh, so, I'll just kind of get right to it. Um, so, what's the best way for me to phrase this? Uh, the first shoe has officially dropped, I guess is the best way for me to say this. Uh, so, what that is that uh, Star Latulale has opted out of the 2020 season. It's the first Bills player officially to do so. Um, excuse me one second. I got my little... My house is a refrigerator, so I have a little space heater underneath my desk. Uh, so here's the deal, guys. Um, Star with Tule has officially opted out of the 2020 NFL season. So the Players Association and the NFL came to an agreement the other day, kind of vetting out what that would look like, right? Um, so again... Officially, Star Latulale has opted out of the 2020 season. So let me explain a little bit about what that actually means, because financially it means a lot, right? Star just restructured his deal. So here's what happens. Anytime a player is opting out, right, what happens is their contract stays for the season. That means that um, it doesn't toll a year for them if it's a voluntary opt-out. There's two different kinds of opt-out. We'll get to that in just a second. So what's happening is it's moving Star Latulale's contract uh, from happening in 2020 to now happening in 2021. So what does that mean? Also removes any sort of cap implications that he had in the 2020 season and now pushes it to 2021. Good news, bad news scenario, right? So the good news scenario is that Star's not on the books for 2020. It didn't cost you anything. He's off the books for 2020 in its entirety. All that's being moved to 2021. The good news there is that now it frees up additional cap this season, which can roll over into next season, right? Beautiful situation. The salary cap's going to be going down. They have set that salary cap at $175 million at a minimum, which means it's going to be like a 23 or $24 million drop from where it is right now. Um, so what's going to happen is Star's contract is going to start, that restructured deal is going to start in 2021. All his money's off the books and it is eligible to roll over into next season. That's great news because it means that in 2021, when his contract reactivates, the Bills could just roll over the money that he was taking up this year into next year. They're already in a pretty decent salary cap position already. So from a salary cap standpoint, this is not a bad thing. Now, there's two different kinds of opt-outs. There's a $150,000 voluntary opt-out, and then there's a medical opt-out, which pays $350,000. Um, it, there's some semantics behind it. This is a voluntary opt-out at this point. So Star is off the books for 2020. So what does that mean for the Buffalo Bills? Well, first off, it's the first shoe to drop, right? This is the very first player from the Bills to officially opt out. We've seen players dropping like flies for the Patriots uh, for over the last two days. Um, but again, remember, any money, any player that opts out, their contract just moves to next year. So any money they were taking up, it's just going to roll over to next year anyway. So teams who have a ton of um, teams that have a ton of salary cap space next year are just going to have even more. The Patriots are one of them. Teams that are really tight on salary cap space next year, players opting out is actually a good thing for them because um, it allows them to just roll over what money they were going to take up this year into next year when that dollar is just going to be uh, when the dollar is just going to be a lot tighter. So here, see, <laughs> he says Star needs to go on a lasagna diet. That's a great question, actually. There's something there. So it does beg the question of what access the players will have to team facilities, meds, and medical doctors, um, workout facilities. We just simply don't know what kind of team access they're going to have while they're out. Now, John Patrick says Vincent Taylor just made the team. You do have to start looking at your depth here now, right? So you're already kind of proclaiming, and I saw uh, who put it in there earlier. Oh, uh, shit, it's cool. Put in Harrison and Oliver will be the starters. That's kind of looking like it is probable now at this point. Um, you know, Vernon Butler, again, what might make the team now. Um, you know, there, there's a lot across that defensive line that was at one point really deep. Uh, now you see Star choosing to opt out. I think Star is kind of the player that you would anticipate opting out. He just restructured his deal to lower his salary cap amount. He's probably looking at saying, I'm really not going to get anything out of this year, so why in the world would I show up to play uh, if I have the risk of, of getting sick or the season's cut short? Why would I do that to myself? I'll just take the opt-out, and I'll show up again next season. Um, oh, look, Quinn, yeah, Apex says Quinn and Jefferson will play more DT. 
Um, yeah, I really kind of think Quinn and Jefferson, and I mean, Vernon Butler specifically. Um, yeah, I, Butler gets me a little bit because I think Butler's actually on the possibly could get cut again to save salary cap space for next season. I, could, I guess that's sort of a conversation for a different day. But I wanted to jump on because this news is very fresh. So what's happening is um, Starla Tuolay's contract is off the books for 2020. It's just moving to next season. So any money that he has is eligible to now be used by the Bills or roll over into next season. John Patrick asks, does this affect Trent Murphy? Trent Murphy is always kind of on the block. And we cut a video about this a couple weeks ago where if you were curious about what kind of player could be impacted um, by a lowered salary cap, um, we talked about that already. Um, and uh, it was it was in there a couple weeks ago. I think it said, uh, the, the thumbnail said, like, uh, no fans equals less cash, talking about how veterans might be cut going into next season. Trent Murphy is 100% part of that squad. So it's uh, Lee Smith, uh, Patrick DeMarco. I could think of, you know, 10 guys just off the top of my head who could be salary cap casualties this season because you're looking to save money for next season. But Trent Murphy, what if Trent Murphy opts out and then he just rolls over to 2021? Then that just pushes that problem to another year, and that's fine. The Bills also, let's not forget, the Bills also have to get their rosters down to 80 men. So you may not see them really moving a bunch of players off the roster just yet because they don't have to do that until the middle of August. Players have until August 3rd to opt out right now. So if they're going to take a voluntary opt-out or they're going to apply for a medical opt-out, they only have until August 3rd. So there's really just a, a just about a week left of them being able to do that. With that being said, um, what do the Bills do from here? Well, you wait till all the opt-outs are done. Uh, you don't have to get your roster down to 80 for quite some time. It's funny. I was actually just cutting a video on this. Literally, I was editing the video to explain some of this. So the Bills uh, have to get their roster down to 80 by the middle of August. There's also going to be now 16 practice squad spots. Um, and four of those are going to be protected. All of this is new. So there will be an expanded practice squad. And then there will be four protected slots. Um, and those four protected slots mean that a team cannot come in and swipe a player off your existing practice squad. They are protected. Um, so... Uh, Apex Zero, yes, uh, with Quinn moving to DT, Murphy could be used more. I don't really see Murphy in a DT type package. i got to be honest with you. I, think, I think somebody said that. Um, yeah, I don't really see Murphy in a DT type package. Either way, Trent Murphy is a player that, if you're looking at players who have opted out, Murphy actually makes quite a bit of sense. If a player is kind of on the roster bubble, maybe you opt out this season, right? Um, and then you just kind of see where the need le lies for the next season. Now, there's a fair, very fair amount of risk that comes in with that. If you're a player, why would you want to opt out? Um, you're going to give younger players an opportunity to play. You're going to give thirsty veterans the opportunity to play. And there's uh, inherent risk with sitting out a season. We'll take a look at Le'Veon Bell just as an example. Le'Veon Bell sat out a season. He came back. Yes, I understand it was with the Jets. But he didn't set the world on fire. That was it. Uh, John Pactor said Ray Ray should have opted out. That's a perfect example of Ray Ray should have hopped it up. <laughs> it says somebody checked in on Mario. Somewhere Mario was crying. Is yeah, Wahlberg says so star is out. Is Mario okay? Or is he in the corner big eating? I don't know, man. I've seen Mario pound away some slim gins, ice caps, and donuts before. I don't know. I don't know. I have not checked in on him. I will, I promise guys, I will check in on Star for you. I absolutely assure you. Um, but just to give the rundown here again. Roster is going to trim down 80. Don't expect the Bills to make any more cuts until this opt-out is finalized. And, and they, again, that's not going to happen until August 3rd. They have to get their rosters down to 80. These opt-outs count towards that roster limitation. So if a player opts out, that's a one less player on the roster. They don't have to go on a reserve list. No, none of that. Okay? They're opting out. So their contract is simply just moving or reallocating to a later time period uh, into that 2021 season. Uh, Buffalo Mania News says, uh, or Buffalo Mafia News says, I'm fine with Star gone. Yeah, I think the Bills have done a good job of building depth there. Uh, I think they could survive a Star injury uh, or release at this point. Um, I think they're probably okay. um, I don't really see this as a major as a major deal. Uh, the veteran players are way more likely to opt out. Yeah, absolutely. And if you're a roster fringe, possible fringe player like a Ray Ray McLeod is a great example. Maybe you do take that opt out. But if you do, understand that getting on another roster could be really hard because you're giving opportunities again to another younger player or a hungry player 
who's willing to take that opportunity. So this is definitely a business decision. You have to look and say, can I survive a season without playing? If you're a player like uh, Jason Krum, you cannot survive a season without playing. If you're a player like Star Tule, you'll probably get looks from other NFL teams if you are released in 2021 anyways. Trent Murphy kind of falls within that line. So do you just take the opt-out and say, you know what? I'm just going to let what was going to happen this season happen next season. That's fine. I'll take the opt-out. I'll chill. If this is this is what it is. Uh, maybe. Maybe that's what you do. Um, but Star Tule opting out is the very first Bills player to do so. We're going to see a lot of this news coming in because these players have to get this done by the end of uh, by the uh, what's August 3rd. Uh, let me take a look. What I don't even know what day of the week August 3rd is. Let me take a look. August 3rd is... Uh, August 3rd is next Monday. They have to have their decision by next Monday. So you got another week of this. Um, and these, the, this is all going to be rolling and changing, and any position could be impacted. This is, this is um, you know, across the scope of the NFL. We don't know how many players are truly going to opt out. We have no idea. I mean, we could be at a the replacements level NFL soon. Um, yeah, although, let's be real, calling them the Washington Admirals would be a way better name for the former Redskins than calling them the D.C. Sentinels. If they just went full Washington Admirals, I think everybody would support that. Uh, John Patrick says Patrick Chun and Hightower are already gone. Good news for the Bills. Their defense is decimated. Um, again, you take a look at sure Chun and Hightower opted out. Marcus Hands opted out. So you could say that the Patriots are falling apart. But remember, all these contracts are just moving to 2021 when the Patriots have an absolute ass ton of cash to spend. Um, so it's just moving their contracts into a year that they already have a lot of salary cap space. So uh, am I there with you? Yeah, I mean, it's going to hurt them this year, but is it going to hurt them long term? I don't, I don't really know. Um, if you're the Bills, I think you are doing everything you can to try and convince your veteran players that this is the year that it's worth it to play, right? As that as, the over, as more veteran players opt out, the team that retains the most veterans, in theory, is supposed to be the stronger of the teams. We'll see. Um, you know, there's you take a look at an uh, offensive system like Baltimore. Baltimore's offensive system thrives on having interchangeable young players, right? That, that they, can, they run a college-based system. So uh, offenses that can quickly acclimate young talent in are going to do really well. Defenses that can quickly acclimate young talent in are going to do really well. Um, if you see a player like Josh Norman opt out, don't be shocked. That's okay if Josh Norman opts out. The Bills have been great at finding secondary guys. If a player like Micah Hyde opts out, the Bills are in a better position to deal with that, having a former defensive uh, back in uh, Sean McDermott, a former defensive back in Leslie Frazier, and the two, uh, the best linebacker and safety coach, or linebacker and secondary coach in the league in the Babbages. The Bills are fine for that. Uh, the issue is once the once these things start happening on the offensive side of the football, where does it go from here? And, and really, this will be a lot about culture, culture, culture. Can the Bills convince these players to stay in a year where everybody is exiting? Starlet Tule is the first to go. But again, when you take a look at a veteran like Star, he, he restructured his deal to stay on the team. So his roster spot was pretty tentative as it was. So uh, across the scope of the NFL, it, this is going to change rapidly. So what you may feel one day uh, you know, you may get a hit the next day that makes you completely reevaluate how you felt about the process of this player opt out. It could be rampant, and there could be some teams that people just completely exit because they're like, "Listen, I got a year to get away from the hoodie. I'm out. You're t you're gonna pay me to not be here in New England and deal with this guy. I'm out." There might be a situation like that, and there might be teams like Buffalo with with what we've heard is a really strong culture, and that's going to be tested now to see how many players can they really retain throughout this whole process because. They're, um, you know, they're, they're, this is a real thing and players are going to, they're going to hit the pause button. And I got to be honest, guys, I know $150,000 or, or $350,000 if they're granted a medical opt out sound like a lot of money, but their, their cost of living is, is significantly high. Their expenses are, are very high. Um, NFL players, because they live a, uh, typically a more expensive lifestyle, I guess is the best way for me to phrase that. Um, I'm really curious. I haven't heard anything from the NFL. If they have access to team facilities, team doctors, physicians, um, no idea. So that'll be a really fascinating question to get answered because I simply don't see any word on that at all. Uh, I wish it did, but um, 
I, I haven't seen anything on, on that at all. Uh, Tim Ellis, you think the NFL will go from a bubble idea? The MLB is having issues. Not even a week has gone in, and that's been scary for everyone. Uh, kind of says uh, this will happen to other teams. I think it's okay. Family first, business second. And uh, hey, Kevin, what's up? Uh, you'd have to have multiple areas quarantined with multiple fields. Yeah, the truth of the matter is, you know, the MLB um, tried to maintain this without having such a, uh, a strict quarantine policy. And all it took was one team to kind of hit the brakes on uh, games that were in completely different cities. Um, so this, the MLB was sort of the litmus test. Uh, the, the NBA and the NHL are sort of the next litmus test because they've all approached this very, very differently. Uh, how the NFL is going to approach it, um, I don't know. You know, um, this is a really tough one. Um, and rosters are huge. And, and that's sort of the thing, right? You take a look at baseball, and baseball's got expanded dugouts right now, expanded rosters right now because of COVID. But the NFL has rosters twice the size of that, which means twice the liability. So – it's really, 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 really going to be tough um, for teams to stay COVID clean the whole season. Um, it's going to impact teams uh, one way or another. So as veterans opt out, you're going to see younger players try and step up. And again, the, I'm very curious, right, when that very first quarterback opts out, I am so curious to see what happens because um, that will be the first real big domino um, as far as what is acceptable across that position because that, that position seems to be immune from uh, having an option, right? I mean, you, sure, you lose Starwood to the way here, and then you look and say the depth and say, well, we're okay at depth. Star was, you know, kind of on the fringe of the roster, even though he restructured his deal at this point anyway. If he was on the Bills in 2020, 2021, might not really be a thing. Yeah, Chad, I haven't checked on Mario yet. Um, I don't know how he's doing. I, I will check on him once I'm done with this. I absolutely promise. Um, but it is, it is still going to be a fascinating conversation once you start seeing some of these more named players and specifically marquee positions like um like a quarterback um and see what happens right what's going to happen i don't know um but that's your news for the day this is paul this is hashtag sports love you guys thanks for jumping on real quick i uh, hope you guys have a great one and uh just be patient with this don't freak out we still got a whole another week they have to finish their opt-outs by august 3rd that's next this coming monday so we got a long ways to go just temper your expectations for now but remember this is going to be a true test of how strong that culture is in buffalo whether they can convince players that this is still an opportunity that they want to take as the league starts dropping out talk to you guys soon later